Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships and Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're going to take our first look at this stellar clash mode. I honestly don't know what to expect. I have not looked into any of this. So uh, yeah, we're going to just get right into it. Briefing. Participate in deadly ever deadly every space commander for themselves stellar clash to help free the galaxy from the invaders. Collect various buffs to enhance your ship's maneuverability, enable HP regeneration, and reduce the reload times of your main battery and consumables. Complete missions and earn medals to accrue stellar chips that can be spent on various goodies. Main goal, capture the control point guarded by invaders or destroy other, every other player's ships to win. Complete these missions to earn extra stellar chips once per day. You got Pioneer of Destruction, be the first to destroy an enemy ship. You got Meteor, win a game playing Rover. Asteroid, win a game playing Galaxy. And Comet, win a game playing All Destroyer. Okay. That's uh, an interesting looking ship there. We've got Rover. Let's uh, go ahead and add a commander. What is, well, we gotta know what rover is first, right? So let's go into our loadout. Uh, we've got torpedoes, so I'm gonna say rover is likely the destroyer. So uh, yeah, let's let's look what we got. We got 20,000 hit points. You've got 127 millimeter guns that reach out to 10 kilometers. Uh, they have a pretty abysmal turn time on them. And they do a maximum of 2100 damage with 6% chance to set fires. And they reload every 8 seconds. Torpedoes, you got 15 610 millimeter torpedoes that uh, reload in 75 seconds. So a minute and 15 seconds, you get every minute and 15 seconds, you get 15 torpedoes. This is a Shimakaze. <laughs> maximum damage is only 5500 though. Uh, even though they're 610 millimeter torpedoes, uh, they are very sneaky at, at only one kilometer, and they have a sh medium range. Nah, it's pretty short, seven kilometers basically. Uh, torpedo speed of 85 knots, though. Holy mackerel, these are moving. Okay, what is our top speed? Is 55 knots? Good lord. 490 meter turning circle, and a two se two second rudder shift. Okay. Detectability range by C. You got five and a half kilometers detectability. We could probably change this a little bit. All right, so let's look at this thing. It's got no real armor. No, uh, I mean, it's a destroyer, so it makes sense. And the overview. Big yield, above average torpedo damage. Above average for what? The 5,500 damage. <laughs> Good concealment. Five and a half kilometers is good. Area of denial. Hey, that's mine. You can't call it. Do you? That, I'm. I'm suing. I'm suing. I mean, my lawyers will be in touch. Your copyright infringement was okay for everything else, but be, when you start copyright infringing me, I've got. I'm coming for you. Just remember that. Above average number of available torpedo tubes. One of the last spaceships built before the stellar clash began. Begun. I think it's supposed to be began there, guys. The rover is known for her speed and deadliness. Okay. I uh, just lost my capture card. There it's back. What in the world is going on? Anyway, powered by the ingenuity of human engineering, coupled with some borrowed alien technology for sure, it is a formidable opponent for all space commanders out there. She entered service in 2121. And there were one of them in the series. Let's take a look at it. It's a uh, very organic looking. So there's that. If you're uh, looking at this, it's not a bad looking ship. I just I wonder about the uh, the organicness of it. It definitely looks alien. So I'm I'm thinking that there's definitely something going on here. So backstory we need to figure out. So, let's look at the other ships. We've got the Galaxy. Uh, but we should be able to assign a commander now. 
Uh, let's look at Shelly H. Beepley. Uh, what's her commander skills? Okay, this is a cruiser commander, looks like. Yeah, so we want to change this. We don't want her. Uh, I'm going to guess Space Fishy is... Yeah, this is a battleship, Captain. And so Space Fishy it is. What do we got, Space Fishy? Torpedo speed? Absolutely. We've got subsurface venture. Or contact is imminent. Let's go with the uh, subsurface venture. And then we want fragile threat. Let's go with Torpedo Safari for the extra range. And then... Do we go with Breakneck Speed? I'm thinking we probably do. So let's go Breakneck Speed and then Unstoppable. We're rank 16? Oh, it's because we're in this mode, probably. Alright. So we get a plus 4 knot Torpedo Speed there. Plus another four knots, so that's eight eight knots on top of our already screamer torps. Let's look at our stats now, shall we? Survivability, 18,000 hit points. Uh, still abysmal artillery, but we're not worried about that. Only have a 9.3 kilometer firing range. But now we reload our torps in 66 seconds, just over a minute. So we get 15 torps every minute, basically. And they do uh, 5,500 damage, but they reach out to 8 kilometers and do 93 knots! Good God! You, and you don't even see them until it's like a kilometer. If these things are doing almost 100 knots and you're not even going to see them until you get to a kilometer, you are dead. I don't know how much hit points these guys are going to have, but that's going to hurt. <laughs> 55 knot top speed. And what is our concealment? 4.9, naturally. So I can get within 5 kilometers of you, you not see me, and I can drop these freaking torpedoes that are doing 100 knots. That's disgusting. Alright. Okay. Okay, I see you, Wargaming. That's, that's freaking disgusting. I'm looking forward to that. Let's look at Galaxy. What do we got here? Galaxy stats. We've got a heal, so I'm guessing this is... Well, it's also got sonar, though. So that's interesting. Uh, 39,000 hit points. Torpedo damage reduction of 13%. Artillery is 8-inch guns, so this is our cruiser. You've got 9 8-inch guns. Uh, 2,300 maximum damage, 8% chance to set fires. 3,300 maximum AP shell damage. Okay. You get uh, 12 127mm secondaries that reload in 6 seconds and only reach out to 5 kilometers but have a 6% chance to set fires. Maneuverability, 50 knots and a cruiser. Good God. 770 meter turning circle, so worse than an Alabama, but I mean, you're doing 50 knots, so good luck. 6.3 second rudder shift time. Detectability range is eight and a half. My God, everything's sneaky. Everything's sneaky and fast. All right, so we know this is the cruiser, so we might as well go ahead and throw the cruiser commander on here, beeply, and select our skills. Uh, probably going to go with uh, burn it down. Um, I feel like we should go full speed ahead and then go with... Do we go with the sponge or do we go with incoming fire? Let's go with incoming fire dispersion. Plus, that gives us an indicator of how many people are looking at us. Uh, this is an everybody for themselves thing. So, the more people shooting at us, the worse it is for us. Uh, steer clear. Nah, don't need it. Uh, acoustic chamber. That could come in handy, especially with those god-awful torps that we're going to be up against. Uh, detectability of cruisers, though. Ooh. How low can we get our detectability in a cruiser? Let's just look. 7.8 kilometers. Good God, man. That's almost like Russian destroyer levels. Or we could go with the extra sonar. But we're going to have fully packed, so we don't need the extra sonar. We're fine. Yeah, we are, we are fine with this. Okay? So that's our cruiser. And let's look at our, I'm assuming, battleship. Okay. Okay, so we got 12 guns. That's the first thing I noticed. Let's take a look at this thing. 
The All Destroyer. It's my kind of ship. Oh, we didn't look at the we didn't look at the other ship. Let's look at it. There we go. Again, it kind of has this is more mech side. Like this is more like robot looking. You know what I'm saying? You got a, a lot of modules on the sides. Uh, I'm assuming those are torpedoes potentially. I didn't look at torpedoes. But uh, I like the look of this one a lot more than the uh, the destroyer for sure. Even though the destroyer is nice in its own way, uh, it's it's organic looking the destroyer. This thing it just looks more machine, and uh, I like the look of this better. Even though, of course, we're in space, so it doesn't matter. We're not looking to be streamlined, you big dummy. I was about to say, although this is looking like it would uh, affect our speed through the water a little bit. <laughs> we're in space. Doesn't matter. All right. So that's the galaxy. Let's look over here at our all destroyer. See what we got. Clearly, this is the battleship. Let's assign the commander. We want to go John L. Pickup instead of Jean Luc Picard. What do we got? It, John L. Pickup. All right, so we got Cyber Lens. Range of the battleship's main guns is increased. A good day's work, damage control. Uh, we're gonna go with the flammable. You know, I, I love my freaking dispersion, so we are definitely going flammable cannoneer. Uh, what is this? Fusilade. Uh, improve your battleship's HE shell penetration and decrease enhanced secondary targeting's reload time as well as add extra charges to it. Enhanced secondary targeting reload time, HE, or armor penetration of the HE shells is 10% better. And you get extra secondary targeting charges. Ooh, that's interesting. So this is kind of like a replacement if you don't have hide. This commander would be good for the Germans. Uh, like, it, it just, it would be. I don't know. I think he's German. But I, I think. I'm fairly confident I saw him in the German tree. Or the German commanders. So yeah, this would be good for that. Uh, gyrating drill bits, though, is where I like to go. I, I like to have dispersion. Like, I, I love my, my accuracy builds. So I'm definitely going with that. Uh, emergency specialist or range of the main guns. I'm probably going to go with the secondaries and then maybe will to rebuild. Even though we could reduce the damage by 30%. Ooh. So what is our current... Like, if we go to the All Destroyer currently, what is our... We have a 25, so we get a 55% damage reduction on Torps by taking that skill. Also, I just kind of think it would be a good thing to point out. This kind of reminds me of uh, Montana, maybe? Like, it kind of has the Yami look to it. But it also kind of looks like an American battleship. And it has four turrets. So, it kind of reminds me of the, uh, the Montana. Potential. Uh, anyway. So, there's that. Uh, let's go back to our commander skill and probably go will to rebuild. No, we can't use will to rebuild. Because you have to have an allied ship. So, yeah. We're definitely going with the Farsight. Like, it ain't even close. So, Farsight it is. Uh, special effect adds extra skills during the battle. Oh, wait. What is the passive? Torpedo detectability range of 15%. Minus one repair. We don't want to lose our repair charge. So, amount of HP recovered is increased. The repair party duration is decreased. So, maybe we go with the burning damage then. Because that's just all the time you don't have to be close to a teammate. So, yeah, that, that's probably the best bet for this mode. Alright, so let's take a look at the actual uh, ship, then. We have five heals, which is amazing. Five... Oh, no. We have limited number of damage controls. Ouch. Okay, two secondary targets. Very nice. And five sonars as well. So this kind of takes all of the aspects of the battleships and makes it, like... You know, a little better. So we have 25% torpedo damage reduction, plus a further 30% of torpedo damage reduction. 
But the 30% is all the time. This 25% is only on the belt. So that's a thing. Uh, hit points of 60,000, which is nice. Artillery, 406 millimeters. So they are 16-inch guns. They reach out to 13.7 kilometers. Reload every 20 seconds. Ouch. Maximum HE shell damage of 5,000 with a 15% chance to set fires. That's a little low. AP shells of 12,650 damage, which is nice. Uh, secondaries reach out to 7 kilometers. So you could get these secondaries firing out to uh, German battleship range, which might come in handy. Ooh, do we want to change that? Let's see. So we currently fire out to 7 kilometers. I think we will. I think we're going to go back and change that. Let's do that real quick. So for this skill in particular, instead of gyrating drill bits, which gives you a little more damage but reduces your speed, let's keep our speed and go with Fusilade, which is going to allow us to have a 20% uh, faster secondary targeting reload time and gives you an extra two charges plus it in increases the penetration of your HE shells making these these shells even more dangerous or these these secondaries so if we look at this now we're still only reaching out to seven kilometers but when we hit that button bad things are gonna happen to people 2.7 second firing range on the 128s uh, with a 10% chance to set fires. And then on the 150s, you have 8 of those, 4 per side. And they reach out to 7 as well, and a reload of just 5.1 seconds. Also a 10% chance to set fire, and also a max damage of 2200. Seems a little wrong. Why is the 128s the exact same as the 150s? Like, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Other than the 150s would have more penetration, just base. Anyway, let's look at the maneuverability. 45 knot top speed battleship. Good God. 1,050 meter turning circle. That's to be expected. And a rudder shift time of 21.3. Good God. Okay. Uh, definitely definitely going to be an interesting ship. Okay, 11.9 kilometers. Detectability by sea. So good for a battleship, but not good considering what we're up against. Okay, armor. We've got lots of armor. We've got a 32 millimeter bow with good side plating. That's the bottom. And the fore and deck is 32 millimeters in the front with 50 behind it. And I'm assuming that's 50 right there on the sides of the front as well. Aft end armor belts, 120. Oh my god, that's 120 millimeters? Good lord, you are not going to be getting through this with guns. If they're angled even a little bit. And then of course the Citadel... Remember, we only have 406 millimeter guns. It's not like we've got freaking Shikishima shells or something. Uh, yeah. So I would say at the waterline, there's no waterline, so you be you, you can actually citadel things easily. Hopefully, if you catch their broadside. Okay, interesting. Ironclad, tough, superior AP damage. The name of this sheik's the name of this ship speaks for itself. One of the gems of the spaceship building industry. The mighty all destroyer of worlds. All in all, she's an excellent. She is excellent in all aspects. Armor, number of guns, small laser turrets. To be fair, sometimes she is more of a half destroyer or quarter destroyer. But that's just nitpicking. Entered service in 2021 and one ships in the series. I feel like that was a jab at me, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I like to leave things with just enough to get away. But I do like the looks of it. I also like the fact that it's black with the uh, the neon over it. I, I do like that. So, uh, yeah, I, I do like this quite a bit. It's a pretty sexy ship. 
A lot of extra deck space, though. Not gonna lie. But yeah, definitely do fancy me a go in all of these ships. So let's get into it. I know this is gonna be a long video. We're 20 minutes in. We have just now started the actual fights. So uh, you guys get to be with me for all of the fun. I figured the queue would be kind of short, but clearly I'm wrong. Okay, so there is a seizure warning. That's that's always nice. Good lord. Is nobody playing this new game mode? Seriously? Well, that's interesting. So my goal is to play all three ships in this, this uh, video, but I may run out of time and have to do it in separate uh, separate clip that I clip in with this, just so you know. Because it, it is uh, approximately 35 minutes from me and Hive getting together to stream, so I've got to try to get this done. Come on! Put me in a game, for God's sakes! It's a new game mode! Is nobody seriously playing? Like, it's mid-afternoon, too. It's it's literally 3.30 in the afternoon here in the U.S. Well, on the East Coast. Which is, by the way, where most of the people in the U.S. live. The East Coast has more people than anywhere else in the country combined. Just saying. I say East Coast. I'm not actually East Coast. I'm actually, like, technically the Ohio Valley slash Midwest, technically. But I, I'm in the eastern time zone, so there's that. Clearly, this game does not want me to play the new game mode. Because we're almost two minutes in, and I've yet to get my first game. Woohoo! Maybe this is the April Fool's joke, guys. Did you guys think about that? This might be the April Fool's joke. Oh, you thought you could play? Ha! Joke's on you. We got your hopes up. And now we're just going to let you sit in a queue until April 1st. Hello? Hello? Seriously. I guess I'm going to be cutting all of this out. So, uh... I'll come back when we actually have a match. If... We get a match. Oh, of course. I say that and suddenly the game is just like, oh, we're going to go ahead and start. Screw you. Three minutes to get into a match. When it is a free-for-all. Really. Ugh. Not going to lie. My first impression of seeing the way they've got this set up in the top is that they are all against me all the time. All right, we're switching to AP first. Looks like there's three destroyers, three cruisers, and two all destroyers. So, uh, quite a few folks out there. They're actual people too, right? Yeah, they, they appear to actually be people, and they're all Xbox. Unless it doesn't show your, uh, Enemy force your thing. Detected. I'm already detect- Oh my god, they spawned a battleship on my broadside! Are you joking? Oh, and we're both doing the exact same thing. Get this ship moving! So, clearly, trying to get through that armor is going to be a little tougher than I was expecting. Go ahead and let these secondaries start doing their thing. Ok, 
Okay, we shattered. These guns are very underwhelming, if I'm honest. Good hit there. Got him. Enemy battleship foundered. All right, so we have, I'm assuming, a tor or a fire rate buff here. Quicker reload of the guns, which is what we definitely want on this thing. We're not currently detected. I also want to kind of get to this heel that's over here. So I think we're going to head in that direction. Let's get the guns on the left side of the ship. Also, please turn. Please, please turn away. There's an asteroid here. Also, good to know that the water line still exists. Here I was shooting at the bottom of a ship, so that's why I wasn't doing any damage initially. We are detected. Still detected. I wonder if it's actually showing me that we're detected from that side. So, like, that would show me that they're right in this area. Okay, it's the invader. And of course, we've got an all destroyer right in front of us that has not been in a fight yet. Two invaders here. Can't go through the bow. Oh, shoot. We're being flanked. shooting me like there is a guy right around the corner from me yet these freaking drones are all shooting me this guy must have died like I was turning to like shoot him but he's dead huh problem solved sir There we 
we got our first explosion. There we go. Let's go ahead and put out that fire. Let's get us some distance between us and the bad guy. Try to make our way over here to another reload booster. Okay, we are healing over time. That must be what that that uh, heal does for us. Like we are basically getting non-stop will to rebuild. We are detected again, which is not what I want. Remember, we got extremely fast torpedoes out here somewhere. We also have a very healthy all destroyer hiding somewhere. Of course, there's another freaking invader. We get it. We've got two reload boosters now. That's a double fire, so we're going to put that out. The ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. You destroyed an enemy cruiser. Of course, now we're being shot by the little freaking scavenger hiding in the back. Enemy cruiser. Sunk. All right. Where is he? All right. We've got one destroyer out here and one all destroyer. Like I'm about to run into an island, and I am. Of course, my rear guns couldn't keep up. I'm still detected, so their destroyer's nearby. I don't get my uh, sonar back for 14 seconds. I'm going for another reload booster. Ends in five minutes. Also changing course to get there because screw this. Right, let's go ahead and pop the radar or the sonar. I'm no longer detected. I'm assuming he's probably heading this direction. God, this this rudder shift is horrendous. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have a rudder shift so bad in a spaceship. Yep, there he is. He got three right on top of each other. Problem solved, sir. You don't live to get another fucking torpedo salvo off there, dumbass. Come back. Come on, the guy cannot disappear right in front of me. Let's go.
what I'm talking about. And you, you little turd monkey, I have dealt with your bullcrap long enough. Boy, that fire skill is real coming in handy. The ship is on fire. Damn it. We did our part. We really did. I, I thought we were going to win our very first match. Like, we did everything we could. 176,000 damage, 5 kills. Let's go. 200 target hits, basically, with our secondaries. Only one Citadel, though. He ended up with four kills. Like, he did literally just sat in the back and did nothing the entire game. We would have absolutely won that had we not gotten torped by that stupid destroyer. But, is what it is. We did our job. I'm pretty happy with our first battleship match. So, uh, yeah. We've got 20 minutes left. Let's go ahead and jump in uh, the rover. See if we can't get into a match now. I felt like that was a pretty good first try, you know? That guy got a lot of fires, but that fire skill came in real handy. Real handy. Also, that's gonna sh Come on, darn it. That's gonna show uh, that you don't want to get caught in the secondaries of this thing either. Like, the all-destroyer secondaries are disgusting. Especially when that reload booster is active. I should have switched to HE on the destroyer to kill him quicker. But honestly, I didn't want to. Because I thought maybe it wouldn't be as effective. Because, like, when I use HE on battleships against destroyers in regular matches... Like, it just, I seem like I get more damage out of my AP against them than I do with the HE. Usually. Unless, of course, it's Conqueror or Nelson or something like that. Queen Elizabeth. Like, they, they get a lot of hits with their HE, and it's absolutely devastating to a destroyer. But, yeah, that was a first, first good match, or a good first match, sorry. And so far, it's an interesting mode. I don't know if it's something that I'm going to play a whole lot of, but it's interesting. To say the least. Honestly, though, when they said that the uh, visual effects and the photosensitivity warning and all of that, like, I, I was expecting, like, lasers, to be honest. And this isn't that, so there's that. Would have been nice to go grab another uh, reload booster there and then potentially get the uh, get another heal. Would have been nice, potentially. But it was nice being able to constantly regenerate health, too. Two minutes in, again... Given our very good concealment and given the fact that we have 15 torpedoes, I feel like we're going to have a pretty easy time here. Yeah, 4.9 con kilometer concealment. We've got smokes. We've got all the engine boosts. So we're going to be running engine boosts most of the time. I 
I'm gonna be going straight for these big boys. I do kind of look like, or I kind of like the look of this thing, with it being more of an organic look. Battle starts. Yeah, get us moving. Engine boost activated. We're going full steam ahead. We're going straight for that heal. Remember, we don't actually have a whole lot in the way of uh, range on our torps. Okay, he's turning away from us. It's like he knows. It's like he knows. But again, we are burning straight towards that heel. I want that as soon as possible. He's shooting at somebody. Somebody real close. Oh, it's another all destroyer. Okay. What the heck? All these stupid freaking things. Engine boost deactivated. Dude, those torps look pretty sick. Hey, turret, critically damaged. We destroyed an enemy cruiser. We also had a destroyer right next to us. Almost got our torps back. Real close. We almost killed him. They're capturing the freaking center? Really? Speed this thing up. Engine boost activated. Who does this and why is it allowed? Like, why are they able to capture the base without fighting anything? Because they're sitting in a smoke screen. I can see it. Go faster! We 
got the reset. Engine boost. I'm gonna go stack some boosts while these guys are fighting each other. Drop torps in my wake. Remember, we have that healing, so we're not too afraid of them. We just can't be death struck. Quicker reload of consumables. Dude, the quicker reload of consumables is for freaking torps too? Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, we, we are doing this. We are straight up doing this. Wait for it. God, that's just mean. Yep, yep, that's a thing. We have torpedoes that reload in like 15 seconds now. <laughs> oh, somebody's capturing a base again. God darn it. run into an island right now. It'd be real bad for my health. Damn it, their destroyer's looking at me. Fellas, calm down! I am not the only person on this fucking map! Shoot at somebody else! Please! Okay, apparently our torps don't reload in 15 seconds. Engine boost deactivated. We are healing. Okay, the battleship has given up hope, which is good. Of all the things that destroyer could be doing, why is he coming after me?
Dude, the guns take so long to turn on this thing. He's shooting at them. He's not going to pay attention to me launching torps. Which is perfect. It's a good hit. We got four. Sorry, Sunshine, you ain't getting close enough to see me. I say that, he's still getting closer somehow. Definitely trying to dodge. Still going to take one or two, maybe. Or not. I guess that's always an option. We need this battleship to come back to the fight! definitely cannot win a gunfight with him. Only way we're going to be able to do this is to go straight at him, but we are now located, which means we are the closest target to him. About to have our torps back. Engine boost deactivated. He's got a heal too, so I'm going I'm got, I've got to go right at this guy. God. Hope that's enough. It wasn't. It was definitely not enough. Problem solved, sir. God dang it, man. God dang it! Another 142,000 damage. And it is right at that time for me and Hive to get together, so... We're going to call it. Uh, we tried to do too much there. Probably wasn't the brightest idea, but uh, it is what it is. On to the next one. All right, so uh, I will join you guys in the last battle in the galaxy as soon as we get uh, as soon as we get this, uh, this stream over with so uh, we can finish this video. So uh, just hang tight, and I'll be right back.